Hi everyone, how's life and welcome to another one of my videos. In this video, I'm going to give you a full tour of the Dream Castle Hotel near Disneyland Paris. We're going to have a look at the beautiful reception, the rooms of course, the breakfast, the food, the games, everything that they have available at this wonderful hotel here near Disneyland Paris. So come along. So yes, welcome to the Dream Castle Hotel near Disneyland Paris. This is actually one of my favorite off-site hotels. I've stayed here a few times before they renovated it recently, and I've actually been kindly invited by the Dream Castle Hotel team to come and stay here, which I'm so excited about. So big shout out and thank you to the Dream Castle Hotel members. But I literally only checked in about 10 minutes ago, so I thought I would show you the room first because the room is incredible, and they have changed them up so much since the last time I stayed here a couple of years ago. But it's not just the rooms that they've changed, even the hallways they look so different and so much better and nicer than they used to I feel, I feel like it just looks more elegant everything and this was already an elegant hotel but this is our room number 5077 we're on the fifth floor and quite conveniently right next to it we've got the evacuation plan and obviously it shows you exactly where our room number is 5077 the hotel cards have also changed with the new logo for the Dreamcastle Hotel and I absolutely love them. They're obviously from the Fabulous Hotels group and they just look so cute and so cool. Look at that little rabbit, little bunny peeking through a keyhole. As I mentioned, I actually only checked in about 10-15 minutes ago so I'm still very overwhelmed at the beauty of this room and I'm really excited to give you a tour of it very quickly. I'm actually staying here with my brother so there'll be two beds. It's, a, it's quite a big room so I just want to prepare you before we go in. So again, big thank you to the Dreamcastle Hotel team. Without further ado though, let's head on in. Okay, so there you go. You can kind of get a quick glimpse of the room. Let me just quickly close the door and you do have to put your card in there for it to all work. Um, on my right, you can see some little hangers for your coats, etc. But honestly, you don't care about any of that. You care about the room because the room is fantastic. So there'll be bits of it that I haven't even explored yet myself because, like I said, I've only just arrived. So we'll go through it together. On my left here, we've got a full-length mirror, which is lovely. Again, very nice and elegant for the theming of this hotel, the Dream Castle Hotel. It's very castle-like, very royal, if you will. And then you can kind of see the second bed. So as I mentioned, this is on the fifth floor and I'm not sure if you know all the rooms are gonna be like this. I, in fact, I doubt it. I think this is just some of their bigger rooms. Um, I think you can also get rooms that have two beds, but a little, a little bit smaller, depending on maybe which, uh, which level you're on. But yeah, so we've got one bed over here, which looks lovely, really like this color. And yeah, you get a couple of pillows and oh, the wallpaper, again, this used to be so different just a couple of years ago, and it's so impressive how this hotel has managed to update itself whilst it was still open. Like throughout the renovation process, the hotel was still open and guests had amazing experiences. I even came here, I visited once or twice whilst they were doing renovations and I loved it. So one of the best things, they've got USB plugs here. So you can see I'm currently charging my phone. They've also got some European ones. This just switches the lights, there you go. I'm going to turn that back on. It's just the two lights around the bed. Um, this feels quite nice. Let's, yeah, nice little top bed area. Obviously, I've not slept on the bed yet, but if they're anything like they used to be, then they're going to be really comfortable. But I will let you know towards the end of the video. So keep watching because I'm going to take you throughout our whole journey here at uh, the Dream Castle Hotel. I guess something that I skipped on are these wardrobes here because when you first enter through the door on your right, you do have some space for you know storage your clothes etc there's some extra pillows up there some hangers you get a fridge which is lovely in most of the disney official disney hotels you don't get fridges unless you're staying at the top like more expensive ones if that makes sense or if you're staying you know club level so it's nice that you know they give you a fridge in the rooms um let's see what we've got in there there should be a safe yeah there you go we've got a safe in there loads more space area, loads more hangers, and even more <laughs> pillows up there. Okay, and I enjoy the details of these wardrobes, the handles, they're adorable. There is truly so much space here, like I can't even explain to you. I did not expect this when I came into the room, I was expecting like a more standard room with two beds next to each other, and I mean, that would have been amazing as well, don't get me wrong, but it's just great, especially when you're traveling with, you know, a friend or somebody who isn't your partner, you can have a bit more privacy with that little wall in between us. Before we get to that wall though, let's have a quick look at the table here. So you do get a little chair and a desk area so you can do some work, etc. if you wish to. You've got your kettle, you have some coffees, some tea, chamomile tea. There's quite a few things here and also there's a really lovely 
um, note here from the hotel manager of Dream Castle welcoming us. Chère Madame Nasseri, nous sommes heureux de vous accueillir au cœur de notre château enchanté. I'm not going to read the rest of it, but it's very, very kind of them. Again, even the card is just so nicely designed. I just love the logo for the Dream Castle Hotel since they renovated it. I think these might also be a couple of things that they've given us. I'm not sure. Maybe. This feels like it should be... Oh yeah, nice. So some chocolates in there. I'll save this when, when my brother arrives. He's going to enjoy these and these are probably going to be some sweets as well. Yep, there you go. That is very, very kind of the Dream Castle Hotel team. You do get water, which is nice as well. Vitel. You've got your telephone, which I find to be quite useful, like especially when I travel on my own. I prefer hotel rooms that actually have a telephone in them because some of them, trust me, don't, and it can be quite stressful sometimes. Now, the view outside, stunning, but the curtains are also really nice. I mean, they really, really upscaled what the hotel used to be. It just looks even better. And uh, let me just open this for a second. Oh my Lord, have mercy. <laughs> Look at this. Firstly, the fresh air is so, so nice. As I mentioned, we're on the fifth floor. I believe it is the top floor, so you can kind of see based on the other rooms over there. And this is all part of the Dream Castle Hotel. So it's, it's rather big as a hotel. And this area down there, I'm gonna try and show it to you hopefully either later on or tomorrow. Um, this is all part of the hotel. So that swimming pool, that open swim swimming pool that's over there, that was actually part of the new renovation plans. It only opened back in June of 2023 and it just looks fantastic. Like I said, it just really, really elevates the feel of the hotel even more because they also do have an indoor swimming pool, I believe. But uh, we're, we're gonna check it all out, you know, over the next few days. But yeah, this is awesome, incredible. And you can see so far out as well. It's a really nice kind of quiet area near Disneyland Paris and only about, I don't know, a 10 minute journey away from the parks. Wonderful, so let's continue with the room tour. I mean, you've already seen one bed and the other bed is gonna be the exact same, just uh, obviously on the opposite side. You do also have a TV, but I think only one TV actually. I don't I don't think there's a TV on the other side. But again, I really enjoy the details. This, this shade of like blue is one of my favorite. I mean, I'm almost wearing the same color actually right now. I just really like it. I feel like it's, um, Again, I keep saying it, nice and elegant and very nicely positioned right in front of the bed that also has the same details on top of it with the wallpaper. And then slowly but surely we get to the second bed, nice little double bed. So yeah, this bed is literally identical to the other one that I've already shown you. And again, it does have your USB plugs here, the European one, the light switches on both sides as well. I think there's also another European one on the other side. So yeah, you're sorted. You are sorted in terms of being able to charge your things, which for me is a you know big deal, especially because I obviously have so many electronics with me when I travel. They do also have a little chair there right next to the bed. So nice little place to chill if you wish to. But I think really the last thing to show you are the bathrooms, toilets. So. There's one here and oh, it's quite a nice one. This is big. So there you go. This I believe is the main bathroom area and you get a shower, which is nice. And hair and body gel, shampoo, things like that are obviously included from the fabulous hotels group. They've got their own brand, which is nice. You also get a bathtub in this one. I'm not sure if all of the rooms are gonna have both a bathtub and a shower but this one has both. I prefer showers personally, but if you're a bath person, I think most of them actually have bathtubs. The showers, the extra bit that maybe only some of the rooms have. But again, you've got your towels, nice little yellow situation going on here. You've got a mirror, hello. You've got the sink, which is nice, um, hair dryer. And then, yeah, that's more or less it. It feels like quite big space. I don't know, it just feels nice and spacious, but actually the toilet isn't here, so that's what the other door is which we haven't looked at yet so don't worry there will be a toilet as well <laughs> um, but this is where you've got the sink the bathtub and the shower so it's actually kind of nice that's quite a european thing actually quite a lot of hotels do that where they separate the bathroom like where you actually shower and stuff to where you would go for a toilet so with that being said i'm going to show you the toilet it's probably not going to be very exciting the whole room is the most exciting part of the room the beds i can't wait to sleep on them tonight honestly okay there you go the toilet is just a toilet, just a toilet. You've got a little sink here as well, which I do appreciate. It's just nice to be able to wash your hands afterwards. And you've got a nice little, I guess, photo artwork. Very mystical, magical, fairy tale like Almost like we're in a castle, right? The dream castle. So yeah, 
that is it for the room. I'd love to hear your comments and thoughts uh, down below. Let me know if you've stayed here before yourself or if you haven't, is this somewhere that you would consider staying at? Because like I said, for me, it is one of my favorite off-site hotels. I've loved staying here over the past six, seven years actually. And now that they've had it renovated, it just, just feels even nicer. It really, really does. Now in a bit, I'm gonna head down to the reception area to give you a little look around the lobby as well because it's so majestic and royal down there and also some of the food offerings that they have at the Dreamcastle Hotel too because we've also kindly been given some vouchers to have dinner here tonight and also breakfast is included in our reservation as well for tomorrow morning so I'll show you all of that as well but for now here's one last look at this lovely room at the Dreamcastle Hotel room number 5077 let me know in the comments down below because I am I'm, I'm impressed. I am genuinely impressed. I really like the carpets as well, actually, because they look like wood, but they're carpets. And I know that loads of families prefer having carpets, especially if you're traveling with children. Anyway, we are heading down now to the reception. And these are the lifts, which also look quite nice with the details on them. Thank you very much. And you can see over here, all the numbers for the different rooms and the spa, fitness, salle de jeu, play area and piscine are all in level zero and my brother is very nicely showing them. Right, let's go, let's go in. Oh, some information as well here. So if you want the petit déjeuner, the breakfast is until 10.30 a.m. from 7 to 10.30 a.m. which we will try tomorrow. We have a bar, we have the dinner which is in the same area as the uh, breakfast. It's from 18.30 until 22.30. And just like that, we have come to the reception. And the reception is on another level. Honestly, it's so magical when you first enter. This is a perfect hotel for families. Adults alike, I mean, I'm an adult, I'm a solo traveler quite often, and I love staying here. But I think especially if you've got kids, they're gonna have plenty of fun here. My brother's found a pancake station, which is lovely, or oh, crepe, crepe actually, crepe station. You can see what the prices are like for the crepes. And this is another cafe here with loads of delicious looking treats and cakes. Look at that fruit seasonal tarts, some little cupcakes. Uh, I'm here in December of 2023, so a lot of things are very festive and Christmassy. And I love this as well, Dream Castle. It's almost like a fairy tale book. Well, they're very, very nice. With that being said though, I think we're gonna get a coffee or something. We just want something, a little snack before dinner later on and uh, look at this again. Look at the stars, the details on here with the centerpiece, very blue, blue is my favorite color. So we are gonna sit down for a little bit and grab a coffee, something small, and enjoy it. Something big. You want something big? Very big. <laughs> We're currently at the La Sola, which is, I believe, this little coffee bar area. And you can scan this barcode mm -hmm. to find out what kind of snacks they have available here. Of course, they do also have a restaurant, which is open a little bit later. There you go, you can see it over there. So snacking, they've got um, an onion soup, I believe. Some bruschettas with ham. Ooh, nice little Caesar salad by the looks of it. Loads of loads of options actually, even just for snacks. They've got a burger, a black beef burger with uh, sweet potatoes. Some, there's a, wow, sandwich toast, toasted sandwich, brioche bun. There's nuggets. There's a lot available just for like snacks. I didn't expect that. My latte has arrived. My brother's gone for a black coffee, which she, he's drank most of it already. But it's nicely presented, comes with a little dark chocolate next to it. And my brother's still waiting on food actually. They give you one of these, what do you call these things? But you know what I mean, like buzzers, as that when it's available, you have to go and pick it up from the bar. But yeah, bon appetit. So I'll show you the food very quickly as well. So my brother went for some chicken nuggets and fries, which he has almost finished fully. And I just tried one of his, because um, that's also his, believe it or not. I tried one of his um, sweet potato fries and it was so good. It was so good. <laughs> So delicious. I was actually here for <laughs> the grand opening of uh, Dream Castle Hotel. I was kindly invited to the grand opening back in June. I'll leave the vlog for that as well if you want to check it out. But I got to try and sample some of the food that they had there. Obviously not like a full on meal. And the food quality was excellent. I can already, just, just based on the sweet potatoes, I can tell the food here is amazing. I can't wait for dinner later. So we've seen a couple of the food options now. The little crepe stand over there, which unfortunately we didn't try today, but maybe we will. Let us know if you have actually in the comments. I'd love to know. And then this area as well, which is part of the bar. And this area is so nice. Obviously, you saw the seated area before. They also have that little fireplace, which is just so nice. And from there, 
we are going into the main reception, which is huge. I'm talking humongous. It is big. Now, this is, of course, a festive decoration they've got going on, only during the Christmas period. But it's nice that they do that. You can actually sit there, take your photos, etc. I think it's meant to be like Santa Claus's area. I'm not even sure if Santa Claus might even meet on some days, perhaps, if you're visiting during Christmas. But yeah, that's so lovely. Look at that. North Pole over here. There's the Elf's Workshop over there. And I just love the way they've done this. They didn't have to, yet they have. And I just think how cool to really add to the theming of this castle, even go all out for Christmas. Look at that. It's incredible. And that's the backdrop again, I believe only for the Christmas season. But the things that are not here just for Christmas are these soldiers up there just chilling. Look at that. Look at that, how majestic. And those are the elevators that we took to come down. And this is the first floor, actually. You go down if you want to go to the actual main restaurant and for breakfast, and that's also where the swimming pools are. But this masterpiece, centerpiece of the Hotel Dream Castle is my favorite. I mean, look at him, this little moose. And I think it actually goes so well with the winter months right now because we are in December of 2023. Look at the details up there with all the lights. And of course, they've even themed out the bottom area with a little Christmas tree and some winter huts. It's lovely. It is very, very nice. It's a very nice welcome that you get when you first enter the Dreamcastle Hotel. And then to my left, of course, is where you would go for reservations. See, over there is the main reception area and staff members are fantastic. I have stayed here a number of times. I think this might be my 10th or 11th time. Obviously my first time since they had the renovation, but I've always been a fan of this place ever since I first stayed here back in 2016. I started really enjoying it and I've never had a bad encounter here. Every staff member is so professional, so kind, so helpful and so friendly at the same time. It just it makes a whole lot of difference, I think. Again, especially if you're coming with children and families, you want your you want your experience to be easy, and it really is. At least from my experience, I've always had very nice, easy experiences here. But let me give you a quick tour of just this area as well, because there's so many beautiful details that you don't want to miss. So that's where we just were by that main statue, and we've walked all the way here, and you can hopefully see the size, the grandeur of the reception here. We've got this shelf with loads of nice decors, and I think they were just face, fake books, yeah. Just things that look like books and fairy tales, but I don't think you can actually read them or anything. But it's nice. Ooh, some little mirrors over there. Oh my god, even the tables here are basically books. Very nice. Yeah, this is a nice little lounge area if you're just waiting, maybe on your last day or if you're a big family and somebody's checking you in and the rest want to just sit down and have a little rest. It's wonderful. The actual reception area, they've done something new to it with the backdrop, as you can see. It's so modern and, you know, technologically advanced with, with the screen over there. It just it makes you feel like you're very much in a castle surrounded by magical creatures and forests and cute things. And I absolutely love that. Now, outside over there is where you would find the big outdoor swimming pool, which you could see from our room. It's currently about to get dark, so I don't think it's the best time to go. So I'm going to show that to you hopefully tomorrow morning. But I thought I would show you some of the games they have going on as well. So there's Mario over here. There's another game. There's a child <laughs> playing, I think, on there. This one's out of service, unfortunately. But yeah, you do have loads of kind of children's stuff as well. And they also have this shop over here, La Malle au Trésor, which I believe at the moment, it seems to be closed. But you can see the hours. There you go. Okay, so I think it's just closed from 12 to 5 p.m. and I'm currently filming this at around 4 p.m. So it should be opening again later on. So maybe I'll show that to you tomorrow morning as well if I get a chance. But you can actually get some Disney items in there. As you can see, we've got a Disney balloon over there, um, some Paris stuff as well, just some souvenir type of things. But here's another look at the reception on this beautiful afternoon early evening here in Mar la Vallée. It is also worth noting that they do have a complimentary shuttle bus that will take you to the Disney parks and back to the hotel and I think the last one is at like midnight. First one starts at 7 30 in the morning so very convenient obviously check the hours when you come because it might depend uh, depending on when you're you know visiting what time of year but you can see the hours right now the next one's coming in 11 minutes and the lovely staff member told me that they should be one coming at least every 20 minutes so you're not you're not gonna be waiting too long whatsoever with that being said though look at that goose or reindeer <laughs> behind me just love it just love it um yes i am gonna bid you farewell for a couple of seconds for me it's gonna be a few hours but i think i'll next speak to you when we're gonna have dinner hopefully at the restaurant downstairs so see you then 
And just like that, it's a few hours later. For you, it's only been about a couple of seconds. And I am off on my way down to the restaurant to see what the dinner's like. And on the way to dinner, I thought I would also show you some of the other games that they have here for children and big kids alike. So as you can see, there's a couple of these little vending machines, not vending machines, claw machines. That's what the word is. You can find Stitch in there, Minions, etc. There's another one over here. Just a couple of fun games that you can win prizes for. And then, oh, some candy canes over there. And I think there's a foosball table down here as well. Yep, you have to obviously insert your coins in there to play. And I believe this over here is the entrance for the restaurant, La Rotisserie, for dinner. And again, we have kindly been given some vouchers to use to try out the food here. Oh, it's nice and cozy here. I am also here quite late in the night because I wasn't very hungry. So this is probably about half an hour before restaurant closes. Firstly, what an excellent setting. Really, really beautiful. This is my first time in this restaurant actually. Anytime I've come and stayed in this hotel before, I've only tried their breakfast. Never had food here, but it's so nice to know that there is the option to have a lovely dinner here if you wish to. And it's a buffet à volonté, so it's basically an all-you-can-eat buffet. And normally it would be priced at 35 euros per adult. Obviously, like I said, we have been gifted this day, so we're going to be using the vouchers. But 35 euros per adult, I don't think that's too bad, especially compared to some of the prices in the Disney all-you-can-eat buffet. So. In a bit, I'm going to go and show you the actual buffet and the food available. We also had drinks included with our voucher as well, so I'm probably just going to get a soft drink. You guys know I enjoy my apple juice. But they do do some cocktails and obviously alcoholic beverages as well. This is their Christmas one, I believe. And you can scan here to see what the refreshments are like. And this is the actual menu, so hopefully you can get an idea of what the drinks would cost. As you can see over there, tequila would be... 850 there's some martinis cocktails wines all sorts of things actually and then these are the soft drinks on the back sans alcohol so without alcohol but honestly i'm so impressed just by the setting and i think the reason it's a little bit quieter right now is because it's towards the end of the serving time so the restaurant is normally open until 10 30 pm it is currently about 10 minutes past 10. i actually did check with a staff member and she said it should still be a, you know open until 11 even because my brother he's not very hungry and he's got quite a lot of work to do so he hasn't come down with me but he said he might come later and i was like oh i don't think he's gonna make it and the staff member was like you never know like even if he comes down at 10 30 10 45 there might still be food available which i think is very helpful to know but honestly look at that look at the decor here and of course they've decked it out for christmas as well Look at that chimney situation there and you've got this open space with the windows too. I feel like if you come here when it's a bit lighter, it might be an even nicer experience. Although I'm, I quite like it being dark outside because it makes it feel rather cozy. But there's the buffet here. And again, really nicely themed over here. Let's have a look at the food available. So here I'm spotting some hot dogs and they've got black buns again, very similar to the burger that my brother had earlier. And they look quite good. Good to see. What have we got in there? Ooh, some kind of soup by the looks of it. Smells lovely. I think these are some fries, some chicken nuggets, and maybe more of like a children's section here. Pardon me, that's the main course. I should have probably started with the starters or entrees, if you will. So we've got some taboule, some cucumber salad, some rice, loads of different salads, actually. Oh my God. Wow, did not expect that. There is a lot going on. Some carrots. What is that? Some white cabbage salad. Some more salads over here. We've got mayonnaise and ketchup. The mayonnaise seems to be more popular. Well done. I'm a big mayo fan. Some eggs over here. Butter. I mean, that is a lot of butter. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen this much butter before in my life in one place. Lord have mercy. Some shells down there. Some hams. Wow. I am impressed. Truly impressed with the amount of variety they've got going on here. Some cocktail sauce. Um, what else have we got here? some terrans over here as well more meats etc and i just love how it's presented as well look at that then right here i think they've got a selection of their cheeses by the looks of it which is lovely to see and then now i'm going to take you back to the main course area so we've already had a look at those and then this section here i think on the other side there'll be some more food here they have a cod filet and it looks delicious it's very nice and hot as well i feel like it might be very fresh right next to it we've got some gratin the courgette gratin which looks beautiful as well so that's actually a vegetarian option if that's what you would prefer now this over here seems to be the actual children's section so we've got some this says mashed potatoes but i'm seeing green beans here i think that's they probably mixed them up that's the mashed potatoes which is currently um finished and then some 
breaded fish, which a server just came by and said, anything that's like currently finished, they'll be bringing back in a bit, so not to worry. They've got some bread over here. These look really nice. And then I think over here is where you can get some meat. So we've got some chorizo over here. It smells pretty good, even though I'm not generally the biggest fan of sausage. I don't really know what that is, but some more, more meat over here. It's a very meat-heavy restaurant by the looks of it. French-style sauce of sausages. Saucisse au couteau with some sauce. And you can see what they're like over here. Oh my god, the chicken looks delicious. Now this is definitely more my thing. I'm more of a chicken kind of girl. Roasted chicken and oh, it smells great. It really does and it looks good too. And then we've got beef ribeye. Yeah, there you go. That's the beef ribeye over there. So plenty of options to choose from. Not quite sure what it's like for vegans actually. But I'm going to show you the desserts now. So loads and loads of beautiful looking cakes. <sighs> Look at that. Apple tart. We've got a chocolate tart up there more apple tarts and then on the other side let me get there some chocolate desserts over here this is definitely more my thing i'm a chocolate girl through and through a coconut cake some little christmasy biscuits oh they're cute and then these little mini donuts they also do have some fruits so really not bad in terms of the selection so i think as usual i'm probably going to skip the starters and go straight to my main i really want to try that chicken over there and i'm going to try and leave some space for dessert too because there's just some good stuff here okay well this is my first plate and i think it's probably going to be my only plate for my main courses because it's very meat heavy so i've got a full-on chicken leg there i also decided to try some of the cod because it smelled really good and i do enjoy some seafood from time to time and then i just wanted to try the chicken nuggets because i know the chicken nuggets are something that loads of people love especially families with children so hopefully you know if you're coming here and if that's something that you think you're going to be eating i can give you my verdict on it didn't get mayo though i somehow forgot but it's okay i'm gonna try the chicken first merci so I've just got my drinks as well I went for an apple juice and a bottle of water as well because I'm going to take that up probably but the chicken's lovely it's a little bit cold so that tends to happen with buffets and especially you know this late in the evening so I think that's absolutely fine the taste of the chicken is really really nice though let's try some of the cod mmm wow the cod is amazing even better than the chicken the chicken is good but it's quite standard the cod however just tastes so lovely and I think it's partly because they literally had bought it over fresh so it tastes fresh mm, so good cause been my favorite thing so far and then the chicken nuggets surprisingly really good I say surprisingly because nuggets I tend to find generally rather basic you know no matter where I have them it's very rare that I have nuggets that I'm like oh my god they were amazing but these are better than your average nuggets I would say so I'm going to continue eating these wonderful food items on my plate and then we'll go back for some dessert and just like that I am back with my dessert and can you tell I'm a chocoholic because the two desserts that had chocolate on there I picked up I went for the donut and I think this is some kind of little chocolate tart of some sort we'll see we'll give them both a go okay well I'm gonna try the little chocolate tart first it's got layers very nice it's lovely it's got a layer, layer of chocolate mousse then like a more biscuity vibe and yeah it's mainly just chocolate all round and i love chocolate loki might even go back for another one of those because it's good i love it and then the donut excuse me i did try to cut it with the fork but I'm just gonna bite into it did not expect that there's literally some chocolate inside it as well that is incredible. This is delicious. This is so good. If you're a chocoholic, of course. If you're not, then you would have seen all the other options that I showed you as well. They had an apple tart. They had a few other kinds of little cakes and whatnot as well. But this, this is everything I need. So great, great dessert. Well, that was a really lovely dinner. I'm also enjoying the Christmas music, which they're playing Walking in the Winter Wonderland. Do you enjoy the Christmas music? I think he does as well, but no, that was really, really nice. It's a nice option, right? If you're coming to Disneyland Paris and if you don't want to eat in the parks or in Disney Village every single night that you're here, then it's nice to know that you've got a lovely restaurant inside your actual hotel to eat. But with that being said, I'm going to go back to my room and then I think I'll next speak to you, so festive, tomorrow morning because we've got breakfast and then I'll also show you a little bit more of the reception area. I want to show you the swimming pools for sure. So I will see you then.
Good morning. It is the next day and we are just off down for breakfast. But whilst we wait for the elevator, I thought I would also show you these little machines, vending machines that they have on almost every floor, I believe. So if you want to get yourself a snack, a drink, I got myself a couple of bottles of water last night, you can do so and they accept cards as well. Once again, we are heading to level zero, which is downstairs for breakfast. They do also have the elevator straight down there if you prefer to take that. I just enjoy the main reception lobby so much that I take any excuse to see it and walk through it. <laughs> because it's just so magical and grand. Anyway, so that over there is where the breakfast happens. On the right is where we had dinner last night. So right opposite of each other. So this is the breakfast dining room. It's rather big and we've got a nice little corner table over here and I love even the plate mats. Look at them. Look, the designs are so cute, but I'm gonna go and show you the buffet as quickly as possible because it seems manageable right now in terms of crowds, but I feel like it might get a little bit busier very soon. So breakfast at the Dream Castle Hotel. Of course, we've got your drinks over here, orange juice, apple juice, multi-fruit juice as well. That's cool to see. You've got your coffee making machines. You can get a variety of different coffee, cappuccinos, etc. And then we get to the cereal section over here. Oh, I love those colored plates. Very colorful and nice. Yeah, so we've got a variety of different cereals and milk, of course, if that's what you would prefer. Oh, that massive jar of Nutella, look at that. Then we've got these mini pan chocolats. We've got some fruits up there. There's popcorn, okay, hot and fresh. That's fun, especially for the kids. I think they'd love that. In fact, this actually seems to be the kids section over there, kids corner. They've said, now we get to the other stuff. We have some fruit salads over here, some different kinds of yogurts, I believe, and some milk, etc. There's just some condiments here. Now we get to the hams and the cheeses, a good variety, brie, jambon, those are different varieties over here. Some salad as well, which is lovely. And then over here we've got some of the hot options. So there's loads of bacons over here, pork bacons, and scrambled eggs, so nice. From that section over here, we then get to this area, which has some more hot options. So you've got some potatoes, they look rather nice. Sausages, or definitely going to get some of those some champignons some mushrooms basically they do have beans which i know loads of people would appreciate and some moussaka over here which i believe this is vegetarian so really nice then we get to some more breads over here some brioche some more rolls or mini croissants which i'm definitely going to get some more of the little mini pound chocolates so there's a microwave that actually specifically says please do not put eggs in the microwave but i guess you can put other stuff in there um we've got some more cereals here some sweet stuff and i love just the theming again the nature theming the castle theming all throughout even the breakfast dining area and then of course we've got the toaster here and some toast if you want to use some toast oh yeah and jams different kinds of jams around here and i love those little mini pots so you can put your jam in them well i got my first plate and as you can see it's very meat and carb heavy so i went for some of the bacon the sausages are actually veal and uh, poultry i believe so they're not pork and i tend to prefer non-pork sausages so that makes me happy of course got some potatoes and then a little bit of mushrooms on the side as well and then a couple of croissants and a brioche bun as well as a butter and it's semi served so it's got some salt in it which i like let's try a little bit of everything very quickly first the sausage is really nice very flavorful loads of like herby flavors in there i'm gonna try a little bit of the bacon bacon's all right i wouldn't say i love it but it's all right the potatoes mm. potatoes are lovely and some mushroom they're fine they're just mushrooms nothing too special and then I'm going to take a little bit bite of the croissant as well. Oh wow! Very pleasantly surprised. The croissant's phenomenal. My brother has just arrived with his. Oh my god! You designed your plate much better than I have. Beautiful. Well, I have to say that first plate was delicious. Really, really nice. And inspired by my brother who just went back to get himself some Nutella. Nutella sandwiches. He's made himself some Nutella toast sandwiches. I feel like I have to get some Nutella as well. I mean, you guys saw that massive jar of Nutella. I'm gonna have to get Nutella with something. I might not get it with toast. I might just get it with croissants. Well, this is my situation: a brioche bun and loads of Nutella on the side. My brother's gone for his third plate, which I believe cereal and as we go back to our seats i just wanted to show you how big the restaurant is for breakfast so there's plenty of options like we found a little corner uh, over there and it's so nice and quiet and very just beautiful as well with all the open windows over here just looks really nice and it's nice to know that it's not just that main area there's loads and loads of space available here for breakfast this is my nutella situation my brother made his look so nice in the toast but i just i just like nutella to be floating right 
is exactly what you would expect some brioche bun with Nutella but it's lovely this is extremely random but I'm not sure if you can hear or not they're currently playing a version of when you wish upon a star at breakfast On a star. Obviously, I'm not gonna let it play for too much longer because of copyright, but just unexpected and very festive and magical at the same time. Love it. Anyway, that was breakfast, and breakfast is served from 7 a.m. to 10:30 a.m. every single day, and on weekends it's from 7 a.m. until 11 a.m. But with that being said, I think I'm gonna take you out for a little bit, even though it's cold and I don't have my jacket with me. But I want to show you the beautiful grounds of Dreamcastle Hotel because. This hotel is so much more than its beautiful rooms and its beautiful theming, which you guys have already seen. But even outside, like, look at this. It is so nice, such a nice breath of fresh air when you come out. And in the summer months, you can actually come and eat your breakfast outside if you wish to. You can even just come out for a nice little stroll if the weather is nice. And despite being cold, the weather is nice this morning. And that is our hotel over there, the Dreamcastle Hotel. Now on the other side, you'll be able to see the swimming pool as well, which I will go and have a look at. But look at that just a little tower thing everything looks so royal here right again it's in the name dream castle hotel see so you can actually go up this little turret tower situation so i'm going to do that because we'll probably get some even nicer views from up there look at that this is fun this is fun and i think actually from up here we should be able to see the swimming pool better there you go so we just came up the staircase over there and the outdoor swimming pool is all the way down there so really really big space and they even seem to have a little bit of a like labyrinth situation in there as well which can be fun but that's the swimming pool over there obviously right now it's way too cold to be swimming outdoors that's why it's empty but if you're coming in the summer months or even cold months because i think i'm pretty sure the water the temperature of the water will still be warm it's just that most most people wouldn't want to swim when it's so cold they do also have an indoor swimming pool which we will go and have a look at in a bit but this outdoor swimming pool i was lucky enough to be here for its grand opening the grand opening of the swimming pool and of course you know the retheming of the hotel and i'll you know put the link down below to this video of the event that i attended very very kindly invited for that one as well it was back in june of 2023 and they did a full-on drone show as well to celebrate it was awesome so check that video out as well if you wish to after this because you'll get some more views of the swimming pool as well as some more information from the directors of this hotel but yeah it's cold but it's lovely but i'm gonna go back in and show you a couple of more things that are left in the hotel and i'm gonna take you back to level zero because that's where you can find the interior the indoors swimming pool so there you go we're on the ground floor now etage zero and you do need your card key to be able to come anywhere in fact and to use the lifts you need to have a card which is really good for safety measures but here they have the swimming pool and sorry if my voice is echoing now but swimming pool spa fitness and salle de jeu the game room and i don't think i've actually seen the indoor swimming pool before so i'm looking forward to checking it out and obviously if there's people in there i won't film but we will see before we get in there though i think the first thing i've spotted is the salle de jeu which is open from 8 a.m to 10 p.m the game room so Oh, okay it's not very big but it's an arcade room so they do have a couple of things for children for adults big kids they like to call it there's like a basketball game there um yeah a couple of fun things here and there and then the swimming pool spa and fitness center are all going to be through here there you go um oh, okay okay so i'm already spotting a little toboggan a little slide here in the indoor swimming pool that's fun wasn't aware of that very fun and yeah the swimming pool size looks pretty big there's only a couple of people in there as well so i, I presume in the mornings it's not very busy because most people are probably in the disney park so probably a good time to come and then this is the sauna area as well as the fitness studio oh my god this looks lovely you can get massages here i mean the atmosphere already feels so nice and calming and relaxing and the scents as well really lovely so let's have a quick look into the fitness studio wow bigger than I thought this is nice and oh my god look at that look at the little details of people doing exercise across the little windows all around it that's fun and you get a pretty decent view of the grounds of the hotel as well yeah not bad at all not something that I would do on a trip away but um, if you want to then you have the option pretty cool leave a comment though and let me know when you go on holiday especially a Disney holiday 
Do you use the gym? Do you like using the gym? Some people do, and I feel like if you're staying somewhere for quite a long amount of time, like maybe longer than a week, then probably not a bad idea. Oh, the smell. The sauna massage area just smells so beautiful. Really lovely. Worth noting that they do also have some knockers if you want to store your stuff there. And here you can find the hours and information about the sauna, hammams, etc. So for all of these, you have to be at least 18 years of age. Of course, they have showers as well and areas to wash your hands. And look how relaxing this area is. I guess it's like a chilled area, relaxing area maybe before or after your massages. It's lovely. And with that, we are back on the first floor now, the reception. I thought I would show you some of these mirrors, these fun mirrors that they have scattered around the lobby too. But there is one more thing I want to show you. But before I do that, let's have a quick look at these lovely, lovely portraits of the animals. But yeah, the air de jeu, the little playground area is the last thing. So Dreamcastle Hotel, Four Star Hotel, Fabulous Hotels Group. And then this playground area is called the Enchanted Forest. Now, thankfully, I'm only a couple of people here, so hopefully I can give you a quick tour of it. Very nicely themed again. All the animals, nature, wildlife, things like that. And it's just fun for children. Like, loads of fun. I mean, I would have loved something like this, a little playground like this as a child. Look at that. Look at that little seesaw over here, look. Oh, this is fun. And they're playing bird sounds throughout. Hopefully you guys can hear it. So yeah, a fun little adventurous playground for children. But yeah, this place seems lovely and it's open from 9am until 11pm so you've got plenty of time to bring your kids to enjoy that. I feel like this hotel honestly has everything so that's why it's perfect for families especially. Like I said, as an adult I still enjoy coming here but especially if you're a family you're going to really get the most out of your experience here at the Dreamcastle Hotel. And it's worth noting that they do also have some information about Disneyland Paris so most people coming here probably want to go to Disneyland Paris. Currently I'm filming this in winter of 2023 so it's a Noël Enchanté season at Disneyland Paris and you can ask uh, the staff members about Disneyland Paris if you wish to. Marvellous! Well here's one last look at the beautiful lobby here at the Dreamcastle Hotel in Mar la Vallée and I've decided that statue is actually a stag is it a stag it's definitely not a reindeer it's, it's either a deer or a stag or I don't know leave a comment down below and let me know but with that being said we've come to the end of this video I hope you enjoyed the tour of the Dreamcastle Hotel I'd love to hear your thoughts on it again let, let me know in the comments if you've been here before if you would love to come and stay here it's one of my favorite offside hotels as I mentioned and like I said there's so many things for families like even if we were to just spend a whole day in the hotel you could have a great time because they've got swimming pools they've got spas massages play areas for children the actual reception area is lovely the restaurant the food was nice so overall it's a very good experience Experience. My only small negative, I guess, about the hotel is just the bus, unfortunately. The shuttle bus can become very, very busy, especially during peak hours, and the reason for that is because the Dreamcastle Hotel shares its shuttle bus with, I think, four other hotels, which are all kind of next to each other, and because of that, obviously, there's loads of guests who are going to be using the same bus. So just bear that in mind. I mean, you might be fine, but you might also be squished, depending on what time you're using the bus. But because we're so close to the parks, it's only literally about a 25-minute walk away. You can walk it. I've walked it before or you can get an uber and it won't cost you too much so that's another option if you don't want to wait for a bus that's going to be very very busy but you know you might find it lucky and actually be fine on the bus as well i've had times when the bus has been fairly you know empty but like i said especially for instance after the fireworks it can become overly crowded but as long as you're prepared for it you'll still have a lovely time but with that being said we've had a wonderful stay here at the dreamcastle hotel so again a massive thank you to the dreamcastle hotel team for inviting me along it's been amazing and i cannot wait to come back i always enjoy my stays here but yeah, I'd love to hear from you about your experiences if you've stayed here at the Dream Castle. Let me know in the comments down below and if you want to see this hotel in some more detail, especially the swimming pool, then check out my other video, which I will link in the comments. But yeah, thank you so much. I will see you in my next video. Make sure you subscribe for more videos like this if you enjoy Disney content and hotels and food. What else do I do? I don't know. Also follow me on Instagram and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.